My girlfriend was scammed by a psychic for a thousand dollars but I used to be a carjack. Look I'm not proud of my past as a criminal but in this specific situation, I was definitely grateful to have my old skills. Back when I was a teenager I had a friend in his late 20s who taught me how to steal cars. I was poor and he would give me a cut of every car he would steal and even though I regret it now I was just a misguided kid with a crappy mentor. I ended up only going to juvie because I was still a minor when I was caught for the first time and since then I have never committed another crime in my life. I ended up going to college and getting my life together and now I work as a supervisor for a construction company. I have been living with my sweet girlfriend for about two years now. I love her with all my heart but she has a lot of issues with social anxiety and was in a horrible car accident a couple of years ago that gave her permanent brain damage. She is an extremely intelligent and kind person but sometimes it takes her longer to solve complex problems. When I met her she was working at three different cashier jobs and after falling in love with her I begged her to quit her jobs and allow me to just pay all her bills so she could stay at home and just have fun with her hobbies and only work a couple hours a week if she'd like. It took her a long time to be able to trust me enough to quit her jobs but she did and now I'm happy to be able to take care of her since she really deserves it. Like I said when it comes to making decisions she doesn't work with the same sort of tools that a normal person has because of her brain injury. This leads to her being sort of gullible and that's why I'm so protective over her. So the other week when I came home and found her crying I immediately asked her what was wrong and what I could do to fix it. She said that she was so ashamed because she had been scammed by somebody pretending to be one of her favorite psychics online. She said that they had somehow hacked into her Venmo and sent themselves $1,000, and that she had no idea how to get the money back. She was such a mess crying and apologizing to me and saying that she would get all her jobs back so that she could pay me back all the money. I held her for hours and assured her that it was just a mistake and that person was wrong for trying to take advantage of her. I assured her that I was going to take care of everything and that she didn't need to pay me back anything and that I would handle it with the bank. It took a long time for me to convince her and for her to eventually calm down enough that she could fall asleep. After she finally went to bed I went to work and found the scammer's Venmo. Through their Venmo I had their first and last name and it didn't take me long to be able to get an address through Google. The person must have been an effing idiot to have all their info available publicly and still be trying to scam people and I knew I was going to get my lick back as well as all my girlfriend's money. I made sure that my girlfriend was sound asleep, I retrieved my firearm from its lockbox and headed out to the scammer's address. I had found her Facebook so I knew exactly what the dumb beach looked like, and I parked my car in front of her house and waited for her to get home. When she finally got home, I identified her face, made sure I was at the right place, and took note of what car she exited from. I waited a couple more hours and at about 3 a.m. I got to work. I was pretty surprised at how easy it was for me to steal her car even though I hadn't done it in maybe 20 years. But she had this old piece of poop that was pretty easy to jack and I drove it almost 40 minutes from her place before Ubering back to retrieve my own car. I know this part was probably pretty dumb. But I drove my own car a little further down her block just to be able to wait until the next morning so I could watch her reaction when she left her house and found her car stolen. I was so exhausted by the time she walked out the next morning but just seeing her face as she freaked out at her empty spot was probably the funniest thing I had ever seen. I made a fake Facebook to message her from and told her to send $1,500 back to my girlfriend if she wanted her car back. I told her if she sent a dollar less, then her car would end up in a lake. She was totally pissed and tried cursing me out on Facebook but I just sent her a photo of her car and a bunch of laughing emojis. My girlfriend thought I had been at work all day, and maybe an hour after I had sent the ransom request to the scammer she sent my girlfriend the full 1500 and I died laughing when my girlfriend sent me the Venmo notification with a bunch of question marks. I left the scammer's car parked on her street and sent her a final picture of where it was. But it's rude to return a borrowed car with an empty gas tank. So of course I made sure to fill the tank up to the brim with gallium acid and superglued the cap shut. 